Hi Vogue, just kidding. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my hair care routine because a long time ago I had asked my followers on Instagram what they would rather see, a skincare routine or a hair care routine. The percentage was so close. So I uploaded my skincare routine. I uploaded it like three months ago, but I mean it's still relevant. I still use those products, but I never uploaded my hair care routine. I just got out of the shower and I don't wash my hair every single day because... You shouldn't. But right now my hair is in this hair wrap that I got from Target and it has like little like snowflakes which is cute. <laughs> so I washed my hair after like three days. Sometimes I'll make an exception to make it four days but I hate <laughs> when it's after four days because then I can feel my hair being kind of like oily even though I like dry shampoo it. This is my hair kind of humid which is what we're going for. Really quickly I'm going to show you what I use for my hair. I really like the Pierre line. This isn't my favorite one but this is the one that I've been using and they last a really long time. I also use just the typical head and shoulders. This leaves my scalp feeling all nice and fresh. I don't know. It like leaves like a minty effect. I don't know. <laughs> and then just like a purple shampoo from L'Oreal. Okay, so let me put this away. <laughs> Don't fall. A no pet peeve of mine is leaving the water running when you're not using it, so always turn off your water if you're not using it. I remember one time I went to a salon to, you know, and kind of like get like a blonde, like ombre kind of thing, and they literally fried my hair. I've been taking really good care of my hair for a while now, and some people like know me from like, you know, like the bad <laughs> Sandra hair days and they asked me like what did you do? I'm gonna start detangling my hair with this detangling <laughs> hairbrush. I'm gonna do it gently and slowly. A tip that I would give you all in order to have um really healthy hair or kind of like start restoring it and maybe not most of you can relate to it stop straightening your hair or like doing something heat wise to your hair every single day i would straighten my hair every single day and let me just tell you it's no <laughs> i have naturally wavy hair but it's kind of like not really uniform to like my liking so that's why i would straighten my hair every single day i mean i learned to love it eventually but i know some people just um are not in that like face where they eventually love every single aspect of themselves which i mean hopefully like their time will come because i feel like it's good to embrace you know your natural qualities and you know that way <laughs> you waste less time and you don't damage like your hair in the process take good care of it invest in a good hair care routine so my hair is now all brushed up and the first thing that i'm gonna go is with the leave-in conditioner i have several ones that i like but this one i don't know how you say it in english but this is one thing so i just like put it in my hands and then i just start like passing my fingers through it and again you know delicately because your hair is kind of like the most vulnerable when it's like wet it's better to be careful i do have frizzy hair so i just apply it like on the top parts over here and sometimes i'll just kind of like clap it together now that that is done i'm just gonna go with this um tooth comb brush and lightly pass the brush this is also to ensure that the product is distributed evenly okay so the next thing that i'm gonna show you guys is life changing this is a product that literally like restored my hair if i don't use this product my hair will not look as nice and glossy and healthy so this is a caviar anti-aging restructuring bond repair serum and this is my holy grail like i think this is the product that i'm going to be using until the day that i die it's a little bit on the pricey side but honestly i think it's worth it you can get this at ulta i don't know what sephora but i'm pretty sure you can get it at sephora actually no that's a lie you can get it at sephora because i remember that i found this product through like a sample and you know i just applied it to my hair and i was like I need this. <laughs> this is $40, but honestly, it's worth it. And I just get like two pumps and then just pass it around my hair. Oh my God, I just love this so much. Obviously, this isn't sponsored. I wish it was. So caviar, if you're watching this, um, please shoot me an email. <laughs> and that's when I do like to focus it on the tips because it's like the oldest part of your hair. The same thing, I just clap my hands. And then again, just with the tooth comb i was gonna say toothbrush don't use the toothbrush recently i purchased actually you know what let me get for you let me let me show you i got this new baby so this is the revlon one step styler it has a long name i have seen multiple people use this and it really is like 
an easy way to get kind of like that salon blowout, you know? So I got it in the shade teal because it was like 20 or like 30 bucks cheaper than the pink one. I think that's dumb, but I mean, it works, you know? So who cares? So this is pretty new. This is going to be like the third time that I use it with this like hair clip. I'm going to be doing it by sections. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but there's basically like three settings. And I tend to start in high and then I'm going to go over the tips to style it in cool. It's gonna get noisy. <laughs> I almost screwed up. I tend to apply a heat protectant just in case so I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> can't believe I almost forgot. This is beyond the zone. Turn up the heat. This was gifted to me by my cousin. Yeah. Ooh. So I'm just gonna spray some and I'm just gonna pass it through just in case. I don't know. I feel like with your fingers it's a little bit more reliable because you can like see exactly where you want things to go. I'm just gonna pass the comb through my hair really quickly once again. Okay, so talk to you in a bit. I don't know if you guys noticed that techniques, but basically I just kind of grabbed the brush and then went through it and just did like a little twist at the end. And I kind of just do that on both sides to ensure that it is dry. And this is the aftermath effect. Like literally, it's so easy. I'm just going to go ahead and do that with every single piece of hair that I have on my head. <laughs> After I'm done, I'll just ow. I'll just kind of go through like little sections like the middle part which tends to be the one that is like humid most of the time so I'm just gonna kind of like grab that piece and go over it. It takes usually like 20 minutes I would say to do my hair so yeah. I'm gonna be listening to some Selena if you don't mind. That is my hair pretty much blow dried. So I'm just gonna go on the low and just kind of like emphasize the little like twist. <laughs> Okay, so now that my hair looks so cute, who even am I? There are two oils that I use. I have this Morocco oil and then I have this Garnier. I'm just going to take the Garnier one and grab a little bit just like that and then rub it in my palm and then, you know, just gently pass it through to, you know, define 
the hair and just make it nice and shiny and just kind of like tame little like hairs or things that are out of place it's just a little bit and i gently gently pass through my fingers because i don't want my hair to look so oily i'll try to like brush these to like the back to create kind of like curtain bangs not really <laughs> i have this little like kind of like wand that like tames the hairs i showed it in my first video i'm sure this is by the brand hair field i'm just gonna grab it and tame the top hairs i usually tend to get my baby hairs and just kind of like push them up with my hair because i don't know how to you know comb baby hairs like other people do and then i'll just like analyze my hair and see like if I need anything else um but so far I think that I'm happy with it well just really quickly up close this is what it looks like overall like healthy which is important <laughs> for the days that I don't wash my hair which will be you know tomorrow and the day after tomorrow I like the not your mother's beach babe dry shampoo overall it gives me like nice texture and volume that is it for my hair care routine so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel i would highly appreciate it and it would help me and you know my content grow and that way you can be part of this family thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and i'll see you next time bye